Hi Scorpio, welcome to my channel. My name is Chelsea. In this reading, we are going to get you some important love messages that you need to hear today. To book a personal reading with me, all information is in the description box below. Today is the 2nd of April 2023. Time here in Milan, Italy is 6.56 p.m. <laughs> Alright, now let's get a reading started. Uh, spirits and angels, please show me important love messages that Scorpio needs to hear today. Please bear in mind that roles can be reversed between you and the person whom you could be thinking about or dealing with. This reading could resonate with you in the past, currently, or in the future. There will be a lot of details in this reading, may or may not resonate with you from the beginning till the end, okay? This one wants to come out, I'll take it. Three of Wands in reverse. We got the Ace of Swords here in reverse. Okay, let's see. Scorpio, there's somebody you've turned your back on. Three of Wands in reverse that still hasn't gotten over you yet. Six of Swords in reverse. Unless it is you, Scorpio, okay? Again, roles can be reversed. But Six of Cups and energy of reminiscing. Uh, for some of you, it could be this person reminiscing about the good times both of you have shared with each other. Um, and Ten of Wands, it has been really hard for this person to move on. This person could be a Fire Energy, Aries, Sagittarius, Leo, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, Virgo, Capricorn, Taurus. Can be any sign, strong Taurus. Hmm. The only reason why I feel like some of this could be you. You could be the one missing this person, right? But there's no forward movement, Eight of Wands here in one verse. No communication with the Ace of Swords in one verse decision that has been made that could have led to both of you not speaking with each other but then also there's no proper closure with the six of swords here in my verse there is no closure and that's the part that sucks the most uh scorpio is that the way things ended between two of you there was no proper explanation no proper closure and i I think this is the reason why it's, it's it has been very hard for either you to move on or for them to move on. There is no closure. It's like it's the high five up first. The way things ended, it wasn't right. It wasn't right. And someone could be thinking, you know, when I say someone, that means could be you or the other person. Someone could be thinking, like, what happened to this love connection? Six of Cups. Things were so sweet. Everything was so... Everything was so... Seemed so innocent, so sweet, so... Um, it was almost like it was so pure, right? That this... Why... This energy of why. Why didn't this person explain Eight of Wands? Why did this person cut me off, Ace of Swords in reverse, without proper explanation? I don't know what happened. Like, why? This is what I'm getting here, right? Scorpio could be you or this person, but this energy of... I, I thought everything was good. Six of Cups. One second, please. I <laughs> set my alarm. I thought everything was good. Six of Cups. I was ready to put a lot of work into this connection, even though it's hard. But then I guess I don't have a choice but to give up. Because someone has decided, with the two of Pentacles here on first, to not speak anymore, to just... Cut somebody off without any proper explanation is just wrong. That's what I'm seeing here. Scorpio, is this wrong? <laughs> it could be you or this person, but it feels wrong. And the hangman here is in reverse. Like it's like after all the sacrifices I've made for this person, everything that I've done for this person, and they just cut me off. There's no proper closure. There's no good explanation. If there's any exp there are any explanations at all, it would just didn't make sense. It wasn't good enough. That's what I'm seeing here in the Empress. Another thing I'm hearing is like, I told you so. Some of you could be this 
a mom or someone older than you are could be telling you, I told you so, this person, this person is going to do something. I don't trust this person or this person is going to hurt you or this person is going to do something weird to you, okay? Um, or it could be your person, somebody else could be telling your person, I told you so, Scorpio is like this and that and that. So that's definitely an energy of like, told you so, right? This person isn't as innocent as, or as kind or as good as what you thought they were. Again, it could go vice versa. It feels like with the Empress also can be an indication of like, you know, I've been nurturing this person for so long. I've been taking care of them. And I deserve something. It feels like someone here deserves an explanation. Someone here deserves a cl some closures or, or deserve the truth, to know the truth. Somebody is lying. Ace of Swords here more first. Lying about why this cannot work out, why I have to leave. Hmm. So let's get you some romance angels. Oracles, I just saw 555, five, 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 number 5 indicates change. See, I'm not even surprised to see pay attention to the red flags. So spirits could be telling you to pay attention to the red flags. And also, I I keep hearing somebody says, I told you so. I saw the red flags. You didn't see the red flags. So somebody may have been advising you or someone may have been advising your person about, you know, something is not right. Something is not right. right? Release your ex. So spirits could be encouraging you to release your ex. A reconciliation but one person wants to release this connection while the other person wants to stay in this connection reconciliation or someone here wants to reconcile it could be you or this person but the other person wants to release okay someone wants to stay and someone wants to release definitely not equal because if you look at the ten of wands here one person is carrying all of the wands right so it's definitely one-sided children somebody could be acting childishly or um, issues could be related to children either you have children together or somebody wants children or someone could be acting childishly okay if it's not if it's not about having children so if god express your love getting to know each other as you reveal your innermost selves to each other, your bond deepens. Go ahead and make the romantic gesture express. So I, I don't know whether it's you or this person, but somebody wants to express their love. Wanting to find out. It's like this getting to know each other card. Makes me feel like it's like I want to know. I want to know what's going on. Why were you acting this way? Why, why, why did you decide to leave me? I don't have a closure. I thought everything was good. I was ready to put in a lot of effort or I've already put in a lot of effort. I nurtured this connection and then suddenly it's like, ah, oh, it's just not going to work out with the heart front here in my first. It's like, whatever happened to it? It's unclear. I'm saying it's unclear because of the Ace of Swords in my first. It's not clear at all as to why somebody just says or said that it's over mm. hmm, hmm, hmm. let's pull a few of these lovers oracles life is a series of constantly shifting cycles when we resist change, we resist the natural flow of life and create unnecessary stress. Go with the flow. You will be surprised where it leads. So for some of you, Scorpio, is basically encouraging you to release your ex, right? Because this is part of the cycle. Um, and maybe the cycle has ended. and But if we resist change, as in to move on from this connection, then 
then you're just creating unnecessary stress where you could meet actually somebody new. Um, basically, it's telling you to forget about your past, your ex, and just to go with the flow. Um, and it says you'll be surprised where it leads. So you might meet someone new if you if you release this person from your past, okay? Now well, we've got manifesting miracles. Your dream is soon to become reality. Trust your heart and continue to follow its guidance. Whatever you want. It's, it feels like this card here, manifesting miracles. If you want something good, something good is going to come to you. But if you keep continuing um, to think about this past person, Six of Cups here, then it will be really hard for you to manifest new and better things, new and better people, new and better partnerships. All right, Scorpio, this is your reading. Hope you resonated in some way, shape, or form. If you did, please hit like, share, and subscribe. I'm open for personal readings. If you'd like to book me, my information is in the description box below. And kindly subscribe to both of my channels, Chelsea Love Tarot and Chelsea Tarot 2.0, which is my latest channel. I only post individual signs over there. Um, and don't forget to hit on the bell notification button if you like to be notified every time when I post your videos. Take care, Scorpio. Hope to see you back here again later or tomorrow. Bye.